you'll fall below expectation. Now that's kind of the dream is experienced by 75% of people, so I'm not as crazy as I wow. thought I was. And they usually dream it when they're not feeling well. Okay. Interesting. And so I've like that men one. or women or both? That's pretty much, well, I'm a, I'm a girl. That's how I dream. Well, you know. Have you, were you falling, falling in your dream? Yeah, but it just meant that I was like really wanted to have sex. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take away, He's falling in love again. Johnny Jackson with Ann Presley. We're talking about dreams and what they mean. Doing a little dreamology, you know. You're taking a nap this Sunday afternoon, and, you know, you're kind of doing a little dream and want to know what it means. We can help you out. Common dream. This is honestly not one that I have, but a clinical psychologist, Dr. Naomi Kunick. Doesn't that just sound like a clinical psychologist? <laughs> it does. Anyway, she says that a common dream that people have is that they're flying. Okay. Well, Do you ever have that? I never I never have that. Um, I don't remember. Well, here's that. what it should mean. Okay. It should actually this is the only positive dream that people have, she says. It's a feeling that the world is wondrous and at your command. Man, I wish I was having that dream. <laughs> that's the women's side, that's apparently. The, that's probably the women's side. <laughs> if, if I'm flying, uh, you know, that's probably just going to mean to us men that we want to join the Mile High Club and have sex on an airplane. You did. It's always back to that with you. <laughs> Johnny Jackson. Stick with you, the Pussycat Dolls. Alice 107.7. Johnny Jackson having a lot of fun in the studio with Ann Presley as we talk about dreams and what Just they doing mean. doing a little daydreaming over here, you know. <laughs> taking an exam, taking a test. You know, I know you're a couple years out of school. I am too. Yep. I still have the dream that I'm either late for it, failing it, or forgot all about it. Well, what does that mean according to Miss Unit? I mean, Cunic. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she says that it means that we're worried that we're not going to measure up, basically, that we're going to fail and that people are going to think that we're not the person that we present ourselves as. Okay. It totally well, makes sense. I, and I, it does make sense, but I kind of think that's the feminine side, that the women's side. I think if a man had done what dreams mean, it would mean that a guy has a new girlfriend, and he really wants to have sex with her, but her last boyfriend was Tommy Lee. Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't, he's scared he might not measure up. More of what your Wait dreams mean. How do you know about Tommy Lee? Uh, I don't, I just know about me, and mm. I'm pretty confident. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Somebody's seen the video. <laughs> Hang on, guys, more music coming up on Alice 107.7. <laughs> My humps, it's the Black Eyed Peas. Alice 107.7, Johnny Jackson with Ann Presley. Yeah, that was our ringtone for a while. Oh, was it? Yeah, I had it on my... I took it home for Thanksgiving. Had yeah. it on my cell phone. And my little six-year-old cousin, Anna, heard my phone oh, ring a couple of times no. when I was at home. And I swear, at Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> she starts busting out. We're, like, cutting into the turkey, carving it. And she goes, what you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk. I feel horrible. I've damaged her for life. Well, in that case, you helped him reach the two million mark for sales of Master Tones, which is, you know, ringtones taken from the Master Recording. You well, helped I'm, him make that. Too. I'm glad I can help, and Cousin Anna is, too. <laughs> <laughs> Saving Jane, it's Girl Next Door on Alice 107.7. And, by the way, we've got more about your dreams and what they mean. Including what it means to be new Whoa, in your dreams. I want to hear that one. It's coming up on Alice 107.7. Small town home coming queen. Go, don't stop singing and on my account. Sorry. Go I'm ahead. the girl next door, Johnny. I wish you were my girl next door. Oh, isn't that sweet? You know, we got a lot more fun coming up. We're going to do some more dreamology. Plus, what celebrities say their favorite body part is. And Eva okay, Longoria is in on that, too, I I'm going to need you to start thinking right now, okay? <laughs> no thinking cap on. <laughs> but we've been going through the common dreams, and here's one the psychologist has gone through and kind of picked apart what the common ones are. One of them is that you're just randomly nude, and I think we've all had Everybody's that Everybody's had that dream. You know, we've all had the dream where we showed up to class, showed up to work, showed up wherever. You're talking about yourself, though, right? Up, 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 up. <laughs> well, yeah, baby. Not other but people. You just kind of forgot to go to your closet and get dressed. Uh huh. But you know, there's something there's something to be said about that, according to the psychologist. She says that it's a fear that people are going to see the real you. Totally oh, makes sense. Oh, like inside, not or literally. Yeah. I guess it could mean both, <laughs> right? I guess it could mean both. I was thinking more like a window into your soul. Of course, Johnny is thinking your anatomy. But whatever. I, I think it just means, uh, you know, men just want to have sex really bad. That's all you think, Johnny. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do typical, typical one final male. dream typical male. coming up. And then also we've got 
what celebrities think of, you know, their favorite body part is. Ooh. And then we're going to find out what Ann Presley thinks her favorite body ah! part is. And what Johnny Jackson thinks his is. Or we could do what I think favorite, what I think Ann's is to me. No, Wait a minute. Might get or I can just say, one. yeah. <laughs> Let's check out Cascada <laughs> right now. It's good, ain't the gorillas. <laughs> You know, that's the laughter that's in my dream when people see me nude in my dream. They laugh just like that. I hope they're laughing with you, not laughing at you, but I kind of have a feeling about me laughing at you. <laughs> Neo so sick on Alice 107.7. That song jumps from last week's number nine spot all the way to the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100. It's the number one song in the country, Andy. Unbelievable. He's from right here in Arkansas sure by way of Las Vegas, something like that. But, hey, we're proud of him nonetheless. So, and we're back with Ann Presley, and we're going to find out from Ann right now her favorite body part. What would that be, Ann? I'm going to have to go with, uh, I think it's my beautiful soul. Yeah. Ah. Can't get out of it, Daddy. It's not beautiful soul. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, I'm telling you. That's not a body part. It's not? No, it's like a spiritual thing. It's playing dumb, though. My You're beautiful really smart. heart. My beautiful heart. That's, that's <laughs> my brain. Fall out, boy. Sure. my brain. We're going down. Fun, <laughs> Alice. Oh, there you FHM Magazine pulled 100 ladies about, well, all things that, well, they have balls involved in it. That's all I want to say. <laughs> And ladies. And ladies ladies and balls. Ladies and their balls <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Which is, you know, not two things that you would normally put together, but FHM Magazine has put together a list. 100 women can't be wrong, it says. And 65% thinks that they can hold their own while shooting pool. Of course, that involves balls. And you know, I thought I could hold my own shooting oh pool. Oh, my God. You know I can't, but We did play pool together one time and almost started a bar fight playing <laughs> pool. We'll explain about that coming up. <laughs> right now, let's check out Nelly and Shake Your Tail Feather, Alice 107.7. We do it for fun. Number one tonight, the latest was Switchfoot. It's Alice 107.7. Johnny Jackson with Ann Presley. We were just talking about how she started a bar fight. Well, almost. Whoa, so... <laughs> Over-exaggerated, almost 65% of women think they can hold their own at a pool table. Well, we have found out that I cannot do that. <laughs> Your pool playing wasn't bad. It's just that there were some guys playing next to us, and <laughs> they were some serious pool players. They had the intense look, and I bet they were playing for money. I'm not sure, but I think they were. Well, I the didn't know that. Well, okay, they apparently overshot the ball and it fell off the table. Well, I thought I was helping them by putting the ball back on the table and I was real sassy about it and I kind of tossed it onto the table and knocked their balls all over the place. They hated me. They were cursing me. The but looks, I was going to make too. Johnny fight them. Yeah. They wouldn't fight a girl. I'm like, and you might want to step on this side <laughs> of the room. And it was awful. I'll be the one to get I'm beat up. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> You're down, and I'm getting down. <laughs> I see that. It's Alice 107.7. <laughs> okay, so we've been going through FHM Magazine. They surveyed 100 women saying they can't be wrong. Good articles in that magazine, women. by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you're really reading those. <laughs> this this article must have been next to some hot girl. Otherwise, you would have never written I that magazine know. and I, brought it into the I station I didn't see today. any pictures in that magazine. Yeah, whatever. Does it have pictures? Okay, 79% of women have made a decision based on what one of those little magic eight balls tells. Oh, I love those things. Now, granted, I've shaken one of those things a time or two. What you ask it? Well, give me an example of what you would ask the eight ball. Well, Johnny, ask me out. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> And it'll say something like, only if you're good. Or and I'll shake, shake, shake it again. Later. I hate until, that oh, that's, I just shake it until I get the answer I want. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what that is. We'll have much more coming up. It's Alice 107.7. Since, Since you've, you've been, been gone, gone, Kelly Clarkson. And sing this part. Since you've been gone. Nice, the sultry. That sounded just That like goes her. good with your smoldering look that you do. Hey, Idol season six. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. Look out, Simon. It's <laughs> Here's gonna Maroon be on. 5. Harder to breathe on what station is? Alice 107.7. It's Nick Lachey right now. What's left of me? Check out uh, Open House Party. It's coming up at 6 o'clock, and then you can join me back here next Sunday, 12 o'clock noon, for the most fun allowed on radio. Thanks, Ann. Thanks for having me. Watch my life.